We've done a lot of work on these vehicles over the air to make them fly, to show off this idea of creating something that's amazing in motion. One of the great technical challenges of the job was taking technology that had previously only really worked um, in, an, in an engineering setting, in a studio setting, into real public places. That's a massive thing for Lexus and a huge part of this project. There was an awful lot of development research, trial and error, involved in trying to get the quadrotors to fly in this very precise way and to interact with everyday objects and everyday spaces. Once we had the ideas for the moves, we actually had to make them happen. You know, coding it up, uh, whether it be on our end with math and algorithms or the mill through animation. And then finally, going to the real space and actually implementing these moves. We're using motion capture cameras to determine where the vehicles are in the real world in real time. And each of these cameras emits infrared light. And this IR light is reflected back to each of the cameras by retroreflective markers on the vehicles. All the time, at over 100 times per second, each one of these vehicles is finding out where it is in the world and listening to where it should be and then doing the control to go to that location. Every component of the system has to work almost to the limit of its performance to be able to achieve the, this graceful behavior. Some of the moves that we are going to do at some point thought were not possible. Sometimes you have to be pushed to be able to achieve something great. 